Today, we're making hot cross buns using a family recipe. I tell you what, these are so delicious. They'll be gone in minutes. Interested? Here we go. This is a potato roll. We're starting with a half pound of potato. You put this in the microwave, bake it up. Now we're gonna sift some flour. We're gonna do five cups. It requires four and a half. And if for some reason we sift too much, we can just put the flour back into the container. You are great at this sifting thing. All right, that's one, right? Hold on there, text two. And all the sifting does is just aerates the flour to lighten it up a little bit. Four. All right, good. Now we're gonna take two and a quarter cups of the sifted flour and put it in the bowl. Is that your technique? Just pour it in there. You notice we put some butcher paper down here to catch all the extra flour. This recipe, by the way, is available on andreasrecipes.com under hot cross buns. Now young magic hands will add the ingredients. He's got two and a quarter cups of sifted flour and to that he's adding one teaspoon of cinnamon. One. That's four teaspoons of instant yeast. Is the salt. One and a quarter <laughs> teaspoons. Half a cup of granulated sugar. All right, now we're going to add the creamed butter and potato mixture. Got three ounces, we're gonna need another two ounces and then we'll be good on the potato front. That's good, right around five ounces. Now we're gonna take eight teaspoons of unsalted butter and we're gonna put that on top of the potatoes. That's softened in the microwave for how long? 15 right. seconds. 15 seconds, now we're gonna cream that together. And Young Magic Hands is going to have fun doing that. Now we're going to pause the camera until we get to the cream stage. Just pour it into here, into the mixing bowl. Oh yeah, yeah. Why don't you use this spoon? Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. Now we're gonna use the paddle attachment to the mixer and on a low setting, we're gonna incorporate the creamed butter and potato with the dry ingredients. Now we're gonna add a cup of craisins, cranberries. You could use raisins. We're gonna do two batches and this time we're gonna try cranberries. Two eggs, warm water, not hot. Probably to activate the yeast. That's about a half cup of water, half cup of room temperature milk, and then continue at a slow setting. Now we're going to add the sifted flour. He's going to use a metal chopstick. You could use a knife. Level out the flour. He's going to add it a quarter cup at a time for a total of two and a quarter cups of flour. All right, that's six quarter cups or a cup and a half of flour. Seven. That's eight. Nine. Nine. Okay, that's all we need. Now we're going to transition the bowl to a bread hook. So we're going to put it on three or four and knead it this way with the dough hook. Until it's smooth. Got the dough down, we're gonna take it off the bread hook. Uh, off the mixer. Spray with cooking oil. Into the grease bowl. And then just let it rise in the sun a little bit on a warm shelf. We actually have a proofing oven. A towel on it and wait for an hour and a half until it doubles. Okay, so we have the hot crust buns. We're just gonna roll it out. It's fairly clean from the bowl. And then we're gonna divide this by two. This has actually got cranberries in it instead of raisins. Here, dust it with a little flour. And there, you're gonna put an egg wash on here shortly after it rises a second time. You wanna try to make the hot crust buns as even as possible. So I'm gonna come down in the middle. This one goes in the bowl. Start dividing this in to 16 hot crust buns. About there, what do you think? Yeah. So two even there, and divide them again into four. Spread them out evenly. Okay, now we got eight. Young Magic Cans, cut these in half to the best of your ability. Switch sides. Not bad, young magic hands. Fairly even, that one's a little bit crazy. Yeah, let's put that into this one. So then we just roll these into a nice little ball, put them off to the side, and then we'll put them on the cookie sheet to rise for a second time. Then you do the other half of the batch, so you get a total of 32 hot cross buns. 
We're doing 64. Oh, we're gonna have a hot press button party, aren't we? So this is what they look like after they've risen for 30 minutes. Now we're gonna make an egg wash. It's just one egg yolk and two tablespoons of water. And that's for the 32. It's almost like a glaze on top of the hot cross buns. All right, young magic hands, it's up to you. The egg wash helps put a nice little brown coating on the hot cross buns. We're using parchment paper so that the rolls don't stick. You don't want to slather egg wash on, but you want to give it enough nice glistening coating on top. Preheating the oven to 375 for 20 to 25 minutes until golden brown on top. We've placed the hot cross buns in the oven on the top and middle rack. All right, well this is interesting. The top row is all completely brown and the middle row is not. So I guess I should have rotated them. What I did to correct for them being a little light on top is I took the top ones that were done out and kept the other tray in the middle until they turned golden brown. Once they come out of the oven, place them on a wire rack to cool a little bit. We just pulled off the parchment sheets, made it really easy. They're tender and soft, ready for frosting. These buns freeze really well. So if you're not gonna eat them right away, don't frost them, put them in a bag, and you can put them in the freezer, put them in the refrigerator, and then warm them up right before you serve them, and then put the crosses on like we're gonna do right now. In this bowl, we have three cups of confectioner's sugar, two tablespoons of milk. You pour the milk in the bowl with confectioner's sugar. Stir it up with a spoon. Now, if it's a little too dry as we have now, just add a little bit more milk. But what you're looking for here is a consistency of a toothpaste. Depending on how much you pack down the confectioner's sugar, you may find that you'll have to go somewhere between two and four tablespoons of milk. That's about three, and we're getting really close. If for some reason you go over and it starts getting too thin, just add a little bit of confectioner's sugar until you get it just right. That's the consistency that you want. The next thing you're gonna do is set up a piping bag. We're using a star pattern, you could use a flat pattern. I like the little grooves it makes. You cut the tip of the freezer bag off with a sharp pair of scissors, open it up, the tip over the top, and then pour the frosting inside. Just take a spoon, scoop a bit of frosting. The rest In the recipe, it should be plenty of frosting to easily do all the hot crust plunge you've made, which is around 32. Pretty simple. You could go, like I said, with the straight flat, but I kind of like the little grooves and lines that it makes. And if for some reason, you gotta really squeeze on this if it's the right consistency. Sometimes you blow through a bag, just do another one. The frosting's the best part. So there you go. Hot cross buns, delicious, tasty. You won't regret making these. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching.